Over the last few months, the lack of a jailbreak has been killing me, and I'm sure it has for a lot of you guys as well. One of my favorite things to do when I jailbreak my device is to customize it. And you can see here, I have my iPhone 5, which is non-jailbroken, because there is no way to do it as of yet. But today I found an interesting tool called Carrier Editor. And what that allows you to do is change the icon for your carrier. So you can see right uh, up on top right there, I have a Triforce uh, for my carrier instead of AT&T, which is the service that I use. Now in this video we're going to show you how to change your carrier. This does not require a jailbreak. It takes a few steps but it is very simple and you can change it with any icon that you want. And the download in the description will have a few pre-made ones which you've seen in Zeppelin. Alright, to do this all you're going to need is one download. The link will be in the description. And what you're going to need to do first is open up Carrier Editor. Then you're going to hit Let's Get Started. Now you're going to need to find the number that's on your device. You can see here, if you go into Settings on your phone, General, and then About, uh, and then scroll down to Carrier, you'll have a certain number. On my phone it says 13.1, so that's the number I put on. It may be different for you. So then we're going to hit Next. Now you have to select your device. If it's an iPhone, you select iPhone. Uh, iPad, you select iPad, and then the service you're using. I'm using AT&T, so I selected AT&T. Now, for customization, this is where you can choose the icon you want. With the download, you'll have some Zeppelin logos, so you can use these ones if you don't know how to make your own. Basically, just find one that you want to use. Like here, we have an Apple logo, so you can see. Uh, you can just drag the icon you want for both the one that goes over black and then the one that goes on the bar. I believe it'll work fine if you do the same one for both. Uh, that's what I did. So you can just see here we have both, and I had to um, you have to compile it, which um, will let you start this. So it'll save something to your desktop. So now you just have to activate it onto your phone. So you can see all you're gonna need to do is open up iTunes, then click on your iPhone right here and then you're going to as it says restore phone you're gonna hit alt if you're on a Mac and hold down alt if you're on a Mac and shift if you're on a PC click that button where it says the version that's not original this one you're gonna hit open now it's gonna say updating carrier and then your phone should change So that's pretty much it thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later